All right, today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a mobile-friendly link page on your website that is gonna serve the function of a third-party um, thing like Linktree or any, any third-party service you might use to have a single link in a profile on your social media um, that will get people to more than one place. So you are probably familiar with Linktree. Um, this is a way to create that same concept on your own website and you can have total control over the content that is here and what it looks like and keep it consistent with your website branding and keep people on your website. So what you want to do is make sure you have your website mobile optimized to begin with um, and then you're going to be creating a new page that will house all of these links, which are actually just buttons. Um, and these can link to anything you want. They can link um, into your website. They can link to your YouTube. Any Anywhere you want, you can link one of these buttons. So um, I already have this page created, but let's start from the beginning so that you can really follow along. What we want to do is we want to add a new page to our Wix website. On the menu and menus and pages panel, you are going to scroll down to the bottom here and click add page. We just want to start with a blank page for this uh, link menu because all it's really going to contain are some buttons. So we don't need to use any fancy template. We just want to have a nice clean slate to work with. So you can see it's created a new blank page. I can see up here in this navigator that it is a new page. The first thing I always do when I create a new page is I go ahead and name it. So I'm going to call this page mobile links. And then you'll notice that um, when you create a new page, it's going to show up in your main menu up here. You want to be sure to hide that because you don't want people on your desktop site to be seeing this weird mobile links thing. So in order to hide it, you'll go to your site pages, select the page that you just created, click here, and then go ahead and scroll down to hide. What that's going to do is make sure that that page is not showing up in your main menu, either on desktop or mobile, and it's kind of just like a hidden page on your website. So we're going to build the content on this page in this desktop view in our Wix editor, and then we're gonna make sure that it looks good on mobile. So like I mentioned before, what we wanna do is just create some buttons on this page. If we go to our left add panel and scroll down to button, we're gonna have a lot of pre-designed options for what kind of buttons we can put on this page. Design-wise, you can use any of these buttons. Um, maybe some of them fit really well with your branding, or maybe you already have customized your buttons on your site to match your branding. Um, really, you can select whatever style you want. You can keep it exactly how it is, or you can customize it a little bit. I already have some themed buttons on my site, so I'm just going to use those for my mobile menu. Maybe I'll use, since the example I showed before was this black button, maybe I'll use this gold button. So you can click or you can drag and drop and pull one of those buttons onto your page. I like to go ahead and center it to begin with and then I'm usually gonna stretch it out just a little bit so that I can at least view all of the text on my button. Now, all you have to do to connect this button with a link is click on it and select the button and then you'll get a range of options that become available for what you can make that button do. You can change the text and the icon for this button so maybe I know that I want this first button to take people to my YouTube page so I'll click on to change text and icon and then I'm prompted to type in the text that I want to display. So what does this button say? Maybe it says my YouTube page. And then from right here, you can actually go ahead and click what does it link to and choose any of these options. Because this says my YouTube page, um, I would then be linking this to a web address. And I can either copy and paste that web address from a tab in my browser or I can type it in manually and make sure that it's taking people where I want it to take them in a new window. Um, and then I would go ahead and click done. And then that link is connected. You can tell because this little link button turns blue. Um, and it is saying what I wanted to say. So maybe you only want one link on your mobile menu, but I think you probably are wanting 
a couple. Uh, one shortcut that I like to use is duplicating an existing element. So if I want to add a lot of buttons here, maybe I have four buttons that I want to connect. What I like to do is select the button and then on my Mac, I'll hit Command D. And what that does is duplicates it. So it's going to match the size and the style. I'll duplicate it again until I have four and I'll drag it into place. And then I can go through to click, click Command D one more time. And now you can see that I have four buttons. And then I can go in and manually change the text for each of these buttons. Maybe this one will take you to um, my Amazon shop. Anything that you might want to connect people to um, that you would use something like Linktree for. Maybe you have a coupon code for a website and you could say shop with my discount. Anything you want these to do. And then you're just going to make sure that you're connecting the correct link for each new button. So if this was a discount code for somewhere, you just want to make sure that you're copying paste you're copying and pasting the correct web address. Um, or if you want to keep somebody on your Wix website, but um, so maybe we want to say this could take you to free resources. You could keep this button internal by selecting a page here on your website. So I would click down to page. It's asking me which page do I want to collect it or connect it to, and I'd want to connect that to free resources. Um, so you can really customize what your buttons say, what they do, and what they look like. If you do want to get into some of the design qualities of your buttons, you would select your button and click this little paintbrush down here that controls all of the design aspects of your button. You could select a totally different design. You could, um, you could customize the design that you're working with. So maybe I want this button to have the same font and the same size and shape, but maybe I want to change the color. I would click into customize design and get into all of these features. Maybe I want the background of this one to be this rust color. Maybe they're all a different color. So you can completely customize the way that these buttons look and what they're going to do. But the most important step is after you have all of your buttons set up, you do want to click over into this mobile preview. Um, in your editor so that you can really make sure that this is going to look exactly how you want it to look. Um, one of the things you might have noticed from working in Wix is that if you're building these kind of individual elements, they don't always necessarily look perfect on the mobile view unless you go in and adjust them. So because this was a new page and I just kind of plopped some buttons down, when I hop into the mobile editor, you'll notice that everything's not looking exactly how I might want it to look. So while I'm still in this mobile editing mode, I'm going to go ahead and make those adjustments that I want to see on my final site. I can manually make all of these buttons the same size um, and drag them and line them up perfectly. But I did want to show you another uh, tool that I use often. It's actually up here in the tools section. If you click into there and you display your toolbar, you can um, take a look at these individual elements and find some things out about them to help um, make everything a little bit more precise. So if I'm selecting this first button and I know I want all of these buttons to be the same length, of course I can just drag and drop them. But one thing I do sometimes too is select this, take a look in my toolbar panel, and I can see that that button is going to be 200 pixels wide. So then if I select a button that's not the same size and I look over here in the panel, I can see that's only 160. So right here I can actually just enter 200 and then I'm going to know that these are the same size. So if you've been playing around with a bunch of different buttons and they're like all completely off, you can definitely use the smart kind of snap to grid and just drag and drop it exactly how you want it to be. You can see I can kind of pull things out here and the smart grid will tell me, okay, well, you know, those pink lines show up that say this is the same width and the same length. But this little shortcut is also nice to kind of check that everything is um, the same size. So I can select all of these buttons by holding down my shift key and then um, selecting the elements that I want to be selected at once. 
And then I'm just going to kind of drag them a little bit to the center of the page. And that's really it. That's all I really need to do here. So I can go ahead and save and then publish my final site. You can hop over into preview and take a look. And I do always suggest the mobile preview on Wix is pretty good. It's a pretty clear, I mean, it's pretty close to what it's going to look like on your mobile phone. Every mobile phone is a little bit different. So go ahead and hop onto your cell phone as well and take a look at this page once you publish it. And you won't actually be able to get to this mobile link page from your site's menu. So you're going to need the direct link. And in order to find that, let's go back into our editor. So make sure that you're in the desktop mode. And go ahead, click to menus and pages. Check out your mobile links page. And then you want to look at your SEO basic settings right here. When you click into that, it's going to give you the SEO settings for this page. And it's also going to give you the slug. Um, so that's going to be where you will find this page and where you want to put the direct link for this page. So I'm going to actually delete this one that I just made because it's just an example, but we'll hop over to my actual mobile link page and you can see that the slug of that page is just going to be links, which is shorter than mobile links. And it looks really nice on your, um, on your profile on Instagram to just have that link in your profile, say wixmadesimple.com slash links. So let's take a look at what I mean by this. We'll hop over to Instagram and go to Wix Made Simple. And you'll see that in my profile, even though this is obviously on our desktop view, it'll look the similar or same on your phone, that the link that I'm then able to put in my profile is just www.wixmadesimple.com slash links. And that is going to take me to the link page. That will look really good on mobile. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, if you found this a useful video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You'll find more videos like this and thanks so much for watching.